In the beginning, the Word already existed. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was already with God in the beginning. Everything came into existence through Him. Not one thing that exists was made without Him. He is the source of life, and His life is the light for humanity. The light shines in the dark, and the dark has never extinguished it. Two angels came to Sodom in the evening as Lot was sitting in the gateway of the city. When Lot saw them, he got up to meet them and bowed with his face touching the ground. He said, Please, gentlemen, why don't you come to my home and spend the night? You can wash your feet there, then early tomorrow morning you can continue on your journey. No, they answered. We'd rather spend the night in the city square. But he insisted so strongly that they came with him and went into his home. He prepared a special dinner for them, baked some unleavened bread, and they ate. Before they had gone to bed, all the young and old male citizens of Sodom surrounded the house. They called to Lot. Where are the men who came to stay with you tonight? Bring them out so that we can have sex with them. Then Lot went outside and shut the door behind him. Please, my friends, don't be so wicked. Look, I have two daughters who have never had sex. Why don't you let me bring them out to you? Do whatever you want with them, but don't do anything to these men, since I am responsible for them. But the men yelled, Get out of our way! This man came here to stay a while. Now he wants to be our judge. We're going to treat you worse than those men. They pushed hard against Lot and lunged forward to break down the door. The men inside reached out, pulled Lot into the house with them, and shut the door. Then they struck all the men who were in the doorway of the house, young and old alike, with blindness. So they gave up trying to find the door. Then the men asked Lot, Do you have anyone else here? Any in-laws, sons, daughters, or any other relatives in the city? Get them out of here, because we're going to destroy this place. The complaints to the Lord against its people are so loud that the Lord has sent us to destroy it. So Lot went out and spoke to the men engaged to his daughters. He said, Hurry, get out of this place, because the Lord is going to destroy the city. But they thought he was joking. As soon as it was dawn, the angels urged Lot by saying, Quick, take your wife and your two daughters who are here, or you will be swept away when the city is punished. When he hesitated, the men grabbed him, his wife, and his two daughters by their hands, because the Lord wanted to spare Lot. They brought them safely outside the city. As soon as they were outside, one of the angels said, Run for your lives, don't look behind you, and don't stop anywhere on the plain. Run for the hills, or you will be swept away. Lot answered, Oh, no, even though you've been so good to me, and though you've been so very kind to me by saving my life, I can't run as far as the hills. This disaster will overtake me, and I'll die. Look, there's a city near enough to flee to, and it's small. Why don't you let me run there? Isn't it small? Then my life will be saved. The angel said to him, All right, I will grant this request too. I will not destroy the city you are talking about. Run there quickly, because I cannot do anything until you get there. The city is named Zor, meaning small. The sun had risen over the land as Lot came to Zor. Then the Lord made burning sulfur and fire rain out of heaven on Sodom and Gomorrah. He destroyed those cities, the whole plain, all those who lived in the cities, and whatever grew on the ground. Lot's wife, however, looked back and turned into a column of salt. Early the next morning, Abraham came to the place where he had stood in front of the Lord. When he looked toward Sodom and Gomorrah and all the land on the plain, he saw smoke rising from the land like the smoke of a furnace. 
when God destroyed the cities on the plain, he remembered Abraham. Lot was allowed to escape from the destruction that came to the cities where he was living.